I can't have sex with you. And why not? Because I'm in love with Monica. You... You what? Love her. That's right. I love her. I love her. I love you, Monica. I love you too, Chandler. I, just, I thought you guys were doing it. I didn't know you were in love. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. Here we are. Uh. I. I think I'm falling in love with you. What? I'm falling in love with you. <laughs> Who are you talking to? <laughs> oh, you're kidding. Oh, it's a joke. Are you, um, how did, um, win? Does it really matter? Wow, 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 it is hot in here. Hey, okay, look, I'm okay, Rich, I, I know this is a lot, okay? You don't have to say anything. You, you, uh, you take as much time as you need. Joey, Joey, I love you so much. But I... But... Joey. Yeah, but... Right. Hey, that's, uh... That's okay. It's fine. That's, uh... Pretty much what I was expecting, you know? So, uh... It's no big deal, all right? So, uh... <clears throat> you want me to, uh... Give you a hand with the foosball table? Nah, you keep it. You need the practice. <laughs> Thanks. So, I guess this is it. Yeah, right, yeah, I guess yeah. so. Hey, listen, uh, I don't know when I'm gonna see you again. Well, I'm guessing uh, tonight at the coffee house. Right, <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, Take care. Yeah. negative. What? It's negative. Oh. Oh. <gasps> well, there you go. Phew. That is, that's great. That is really great, great news. You know, because the whole uh, not being ready and kind of the financial aspects, all that. Wow, this is so just the way that this was supposed to be. Well, then great. Mm -hmm. It's gone so stupid. <laughs> How can I be upset over something I never had? It's negative. No, it's positive. <laughs> what? It's 
It's, it's not negative. It's positive. <laughs> Are you sure? Well, yeah, I lied before. Oh. Oh, my God. Now you know how you really feel about it. Oh, that's a risky little game. <laughs> Are you really going to do this? Yeah. I'm going to have a baby. I'm going to have a baby. Oh, here you are. God, seems like yesterday I was talking to you in that little petri dish. <laughs> Everyone said labor was the hardest thing I'd ever have to do, but they were wrong. This is. Well, I had the most fun with you guys. And I wish I could take you home and see you every day, but... Okay, I'll settle for being your favorite aunt. I know Alice's sister has a pool, but you lived in me. <laughs> okay, so we're cool. Yeah, we're going to be great. Okay. Little high fives. Ah! <laughs> Well, if you're going to cry. Oh, hi, Dr. Connolly. Uh, no, well, she's not here, but, uh, you know, I can tell her. Should I be sitting down for this? Oh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, so what does that mean? Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thanks. Hey, sweetie. Dr. Connolly just called. Oh, with, with good news? Of course it's not good news. You just said Dr. Connolly just called. If it was good news, you would have said Dr. Connolly just called. But, um, so, what, what is it? Is it, um, is there a problem? Is there a problem with me or with you? Actually, it's both of us. What? Apparently, my sperm have low motility and you have an inhospitable environment. What does that mean? It means that my guys won't get off their barca loungers and you have a uterus that is prepared to kill the ones that do. <laughs> it means... Right, Chandler? It means that we can keep trying. But there's a good chance this may never happen for us. Oh my God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. Well, we're gonna we're gonna figure this out. I know.
Thank you all for being here to witness this blessed event. When I was growing up, I didn't have a normal mom and dad or a regular family like everybody else. And, and I always knew that something was missing. But now I'm standing here today knowing that I have everything I'm ever going to need. You are my family. <laughs> Phoebe, you are so beautiful. You're so kind. You're so generous. You're so wonderfully weird. <laughs> Every day with you is an adventure. And I can't believe how lucky I am. And I can't wait to share my life with you forever. Uh, okay, uh, uh, Phoebe, do you take this man to be your husband? I do. Uh, uh, Mike? Do you take this woman to be your wife? I do. I now pronounce you husband and wife. She gets tons of catalogs, and um, she'll fold down the pages of the things that she thinks that I'd like. What else? Huh? Would I take a shower? She leaves me little notes on the mirror. Yeah, I do. I, I do do that. <laughs> That's nice. I like having things to read in the bathroom. <laughs> when I fall asleep on the couch after reading, she covers me over with a blanket. Well, you know what? I don't want you to be cold. <laughs> and when I told her that I was going to be moving in with Chandler, she was really supportive. You were so great. You made it so easy. And now you have to leave. And I have to live with a boy! Oh, it's gonna be fine. You'll do what? If kids is what it takes to be with you, then kids it is. Oh my God. If I have to, I'll, I'll do it all again. I'll do the four o'clock feeding thing. I'll, I'll go to the PTA meetings. I'll, I'll coach the soccer team. Really? Yeah, if I have to. Monica. I don't want to lose you. So, if I have to do it all again, then I will. You're the most wonderful man. And if you hadn't have said, if I have to, like 17 times, then I'd be saying, okay, let's do it. But you're not. Oh, my God. I can't believe what I'm getting ready to say. I want to have a baby. But I don't want to have one with someone who doesn't really want to have one. I... I love you. I know you do. Me too. So what now? I guess we just keep dancing. Don't! You can't just kiss me and think you're gonna make it all go away, okay? It doesn't work that way. It doesn't just make it better, okay? Okay, okay. okay. This morning you said there was nothing so big that we couldn't work past it together. Yeah, what the hell did I know? Look, look, there's got to be a way we can work past this, okay? 
I can't imagine, I can't imagine my life without you, you know, without, without these arms and your face and this heart, your good heart, right? And, and... No, I can't, you're a totally different person to me now. I used to think of you as somebody that would never, ever hurt me. Ever. God, and now I just can't stop picturing you with her. I can't. It doesn't matter what you say or what you do, Ross. It's just changed everything. Forever. <laughs> this can't be it. Then how come it is? I can't believe I ruined this. I am so sorry, man. You wanted it to be a surprise. God. Chandler, in all my life, I never thought I would be so lucky. It's to fall in love with my best. My best. Okay, okay, okay. I'll do it. I thought. But, uh, I, I can do this. <laughs> I thought that it mattered what I said or where I said it. But then I realized the only thing that matters is that you... You make me happier than I ever thought I could be. <laughs> and if you let me, I will spend the rest of my life trying to make you feel the same way. <laughs> Monica, <laughs> will you marry me? This is it. Yeah. I guess so. This is harder than I thought it would be. Yeah, it's gonna be okay. Okay. Well, do you guys have to go to the new house right away or do you have some time? Should we get some coffee? Sure. Where? 